today we're going to show you a great method for creating thumbnails and graphics by cutting out our subject, adding a white border, and then changing up the background. Hey there and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace and I'm so excited to show you this quick technique. Because we're adding a white border around our subject, it's a very quick and easy way to make graphics and thumbnails and things like that. Don't forget you can download the included sample images as well as the PSD so you can deconstruct and then use this on your own projects. So here we are in Photoshop. The first step is go to select and then down to subject. Now, if you have a person in your image, Photoshop is going to be able to identify your person and then place a selection right around them. All we have to do from here is click right down here on our layer mask icon. So let's go ahead and click on our layer mask and it's going to cut out the background for us. Pretty easy. Now it's not perfect at this point, but for now it's totally good to go. The next thing I want to do is bring in one of my sample images. So I'm just going to bring in a background, got the idea of doing yoga on the beach. We're going to go ahead and grab our subject using our move tool. We'll simply click and drag from one document to another. And here we can see our subject is in our new background. Now the real key to this is adding a white border around your subject. So let's go ahead and double click right here on our layer, which is going to bring up our layer style. Let's just move everything so we can see it. And right here, we're going to click on stroke. Now with our stroke, you have a few different options. You can position this on the inside, you can do the center, or you can do the outside. I recommend for this technique choosing the outside. And then of course we can change the size of the stroke right here. You can change this at any time, by the way. If you'd like to change the color, simply click here and change the color. In this case, we're gonna stick with white. That looks great and we can see we're already on our way to a thumbnail. We could put some text here and we'd be good to go. Now, I also want to show you how to add a solid color background that matches our subject. So back in Photoshop, we're going to go right down here to our adjustment layers. Let's go to solid color. Now here's solid color. I'm just going to choose any color. It doesn't matter for now because it's above our subject. Can't even see it. Let's bring it right down below our subject just by clicking and dragging. And then we're going to zoom in, double click right here on our color. And then we have a little eyedropper that we can choose. And there we go. I can grab a nice pink color from our subject, in this case, her hair. And that looks fantastic. Now, one thing you might notice here is that some of my edges aren't exactly the way that I want them. I'd like these to be smooth edges. So all I have to do is go back on my layer mask here and I can use my brush tool. I can simply paint black on my layer mask. There we go. And that's gonna just paint away areas of my subject and the stroke, the white area around my subject is gonna automatically come with it. So there we go. You can see as I just take away these areas, I've got a really nice, fantastic. I'll just paint white to make that visible. I've got a really nice outline around our subject. Now, if you really want to go in there and be very precise, you can tool use tools like the pen tool. Now the pen tool will allow you to click and drag and make very, very smooth edges. So you can see I'm just kind of clicking and dragging right over here to define where my subject's arm is. There we go, let's go ahead and end that. I'm gonna right click and then I'm gonna go to make selection and hit okay. And then on my layer mask, I'm just gonna paint white on the layer mask. And there you go, it's gonna only paint in the selection and it's gonna leave us with a very clean edge. So either the brush tool or the pen tool, both of those will work. There we go, and you can see as I clean up my layer mask, the white stroke that we use comes with it. There we go, and if I wanna just paint this away just a little bit over here, I can do this as well. Any areas where we have a little bit of a like jagged edge or an edge that doesn't really look that good. So the pen tool is the more precise tool for the job. However, the brush tool is a lot faster and I think for most applications, it's totally gonna be good enough. There we go, fantastic. And then you can always come back in here and then paint these back again how they were. All right, this is looking really, really good. There we go, almost done. You can see I'm just adding like the, the curl texture back to my subject's hair. Just wanna get nice clean edges around these areas if we can, and then paint away anything that's unnecessary. So whether you're using a photograph or a snapshot from a video, you can use this technique and very quickly turn around some promotional imagery that's going to work for marketing. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just drag in real quick. I've got another little graphic that I already made here. So let's go ahead and just drag this in. Just a little bit of text here. 
All right, let's go ahead and use our move tool and click and drag right into our final. And here we go. I just, you know, made this up. I'd, <laughs> it's not a real yoga company, but you get the idea. The last thing we're gonna just show you here is a couple of different variations. So we've got our solid color background. Now, if I wanted to, I could do something like add a solid color background. Let's go down to black. There we go. And then lower the opacity. So we have a little bit of both. I can see my subject clearly. I can see the words clearly, and we can still see our background. Now, in this case, we're gonna go with pink, and then we're gonna do one more thing. We're gonna add a gradient. There we go. And our gradient, we're just gonna choose our gradient color here. I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna choose another color. Let's go ahead and sample this pink, and then we'll just go to like a more, a deeper pink there. Fantastic. And then I can kind of just put this wherever I want as well. So let's go ahead and put it right there. I'm gonna increase the scale a little, little bit. Fantastic, and we've got a little bit gradient over top of our background. And that's all there is to creating these versatile and simple graphics. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you wanna learn even more Photoshop, photography, and Lightroom, check out Flurn Pro. We have an exclusive discount for you in the link right down below. Thanks again, I'll flurn you later. Bye everyone.